Hello everyone. Um, okay, in this video we're going to have a look at this uh, small um, CRT viewfinder which came out of uh, a video camera that I took apart the other day. Uh, I thought this might be uh, an interesting one to take apart and uh, possibly compare the, the tube inside to the one that I took apart some time ago uh, which, which looked like this once all the, uh, the rest of it was stripped away. So uh, we're going to Pull this apart, have a quick look at uh, the circuit and all that sort of stuff, and um, then take uh, everything off the tube and see what it's like. So let's start by having a quick look around this. So uh, we've got the tube um, covered obviously in the uh, deflection coils here. You've got two of those, one for vertical, one for horizontal. Um, the little trimming um, adjustments on the side there, they're set at the factory, which is why they're covered in glue. Um, we've got uh, a small cover over the uh, the front of the CRT here. Notice that you can actually see some uh, little uh, marks in the plastic here. Um, that is actually caused by um, sunlight coming through the viewfinder um, and magnifying it onto the um, onto the plastic here and slightly melting it. I've had this before on my uh, my own video cameras. Um, okay, so on the back we've got um, we've got a connector on the back of the uh, the CRT tube and another one which is for the uh, deflection coils. So if we uh, disconnect this from the uh, the circuit board this will slowly pull off here So these are normally uh, quite simple, um, as I said uh, in the teardown video for the video camera. These often use a uh, just a composite video signal from the from the actual camera. Um, so the connector, uh, which is just here, usually only has a, a few connections for power, ground, and um, the video signal. Um, often they uh, they just use a, a single IC, which uh, pretty much does everything. Um, it's obviously purpose designed for this kind of uh, this kind of thing. So on here you've got a uh, high voltage transformer under here. We've got two adjustments. Um, they are for brightness and focus. And those were actually accessible to the, uh, the end user by um, a screwdriver hole in the side of the viewfinder. Um, the only other adjustment is this one here, which is uh, obviously vertical size, printed on the legend there. can't see the part number of the IC. I'm just going to get some cleaner on that and see if I can uh, make that visible. So I've just got some um, flux, flux remover. So it is an AN2515S. Yes, this is a, a Panasonic um, AN2515S electronic viewfinder driving IC with synchronous signal. Uh, features built-in video amplifier, synchronization separation, horizontal vertical oscillator, um, and vertical driver circuits. Direct driving a vertical deflection coil available, um, etc. So it's a, a purpose-built IC for um, uh, electronic viewfinders. So I've noticed on the, uh, this high voltage uh, transformer that there is, um, it, this can looks like it does come off, so we'll have a pop that off and uh, see what there is underneath. Ah, yeah, not much to see there. <laughs> Completely potted, um, as you'd uh, probably expect, to be honest. So let me just correct that. Uh, I've just looked at this a little bit more carefully and there does appear to be a, a join in the plastic here. So it is it does have some gunk around here, sort of a Uh, 
So yeah, unfortunately there's not a huge amount to see. Um, okay, let's uh, have a take a look at the uh, the actual CRT tube. So we've got uh, the connections on the back there. And the two deflection coils. On this um, plastic bezel. Oh, there you go. That's a little bit of a surprise that it's actually a completely round tube. I showed you the one I had previously was um, um, a square one, rectangular, sorry. So <clears throat> I'm just going to have to release this glue here to um, undo this uh, this knob here. This tightens the um, deflection coils onto the, onto the glass. So I'll just need to break this um, and then I should be able to unwind that and then hopefully it should all just slide off. Okay, here we have the deflection coils. As you can see inside, there's um, there's basically two layers of uh, copper windings. One will be the horizontal, one will be the vertical. Um, they all look uh, very nicely wound in there. Must be a, a really interesting machine that, that manufactures that. So you also notice on the outside here you have um, uh, a metal cover. Um, this will be to prevent uh, magnetic fields um, affecting the screen. Um, this stuff will be called uh, mu metal, which is uh, particularly uh, this is particularly good for uh, shielding uh, from magnetic fields. So uh, this is obviously. Uh, more like a traditional um, electron gun arrangement than, uh, than this this one. As you note on here, there's actually only four connections on the back. So two of those will be the um, the heater, and the other two will be um, uh, most likely uh, the first and second anodes. The uh, the main anode on this is actually a connection on the front of the screen. Um, very much like a, um, a larger CRT which normally has a, a plug um, on the top here somewhere. But on, on this one there is no um, anode connection at all at the front. So everything is fed in through the back. So this has a model number uh, M01KQM06 7WB, uh, made in Japan by, um, I think that's the Panasonic logo. I'm uh, not able to find uh, any information on that on the internet other than um, just um, sites that just link to part lists. But it is definitely a, uh, a Panasonic, uh, Panasonic tube. So that's the uh, the end of that. Uh, it's uh, quick and simple uh, to take apart this one. Um, a lot easier than the uh, the previous one. So uh, it makes a nice short video. Um, okay, if you like this, hit the like button. Um, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.